What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about a 1080i capture card for 35 bucks. We're going to do the unboxing, the installation, the setup, the software to use, the review, and where to get it. Up next. Welcome back to Kelly Tech, the place for all things tech. We're going to jump right in. Here it is. The YK762H PCI Express Capture Card. 720p. It can do 1080i. It has different names. You get it on eBay, of course. But look at this price, 35 bucks. I mean, you can't get nothing for 35 bucks when it comes to capture that's a great deal but yeah it's definitely China made there's some of the specs it says compatible with the XP Vista 3, 7, and 8 I don't know what the 3 stands for but uh it will work with Windows 10 so that's where you get it. Now we're going to do the unboxing. All right, here it is. HDMI capture card. PCI Express. HDCP ready. Look, it's already lying. Full HD 1080p. <laughs> uh, wow, is that Optimus Prime on the cover? Painted in black. But yeah, okay, there's the box. And there's really not like a model name or anything for it. Okay, we got Windows driver, application software. Probably won't be using that. And we got a low profile bracket for low profile computers, which is nice. Nice packaging. And here it is. It's a little guy. It's got a HDMI in and a HDMI out. It looks like it's well built. Well, we're going to find out. Now we're going to pop this baby in and see what she can do. All right. First thing we need to do, shut down your PC, unplug the power cord, hit the power button to drain all the juice out of the motherboard. Take out two screws that hold the side panel on and then slide your side panel off. And then we're going to want to pick a PCI slot that's going to make sense for our setup. So for me, I'm going to use my bottom slot here because I don't want to block my video card. So let's take out the screw. Slide off the cover. And slide in capture card put our screw back in all right now all we need to do is put our side back on put our two screws back in and boot up the PC Next, we're going to get into installing drivers and software. 
now that you got your computer booted up right click on start go to device manager and as you can see we've got an issue right here and that's our card so I'm gonna install the CD that came with the card waiting for it to recognize there it is all right so what's it got in here there's a driver section oh it actually has Windows 10 that's great news um, driver 64 oh, it looks legit well, let's give it a shot so right click update driver browse my computer and we're going to direct it to the CD-ROM inside the driver folder inside Windows 10 folder inside the 64-bit folder for me and okay and then we hit next looks like it's working install Windows has successfully updated your drivers it says it's a time leak HD 72a capture device yeah, this device has many different names. All right. We're back in business. No more exclamation points or anything. We're all good. So the driver is installed. So now to the software. Type in this URL. Might need to pause it to your web browser. You want to save as to desktop and save. we got our software now I already have this installed OBS studio um, I'm using it to capture this video so you're gonna have to install that just double click hit next a bunch of times and finish and then should pop up like this and I already have display capture set up to do this video but I'm gonna show you how to set up your capture card so you just hit the plus button here video capture device click OK and now we have to set the options up for your capture card I have a uh, Xbox hooked up and this is crisis in the background here but we're gonna put custom on the resolution and to change the resolution you actually have to click over here let's put it on 720 because 1080i just does not look good you can leave all this as is hit OK and as you can see it's capturing
just to give you guys an idea not bad at all I mean, I don't, I don't see any, I heard some people with this card, uh, they just had a couple issues and there was lines in the screen and stuff like that. I haven't had that problem. I don't know, it might vary from device to device, but it seems to work pretty well. pretty happy with it so that's the software one more thing to note if you're not getting audio click on video capture hit the settings go down to where it says audio output mode this card actually does not capture audio so in order to get audio you have to put direct sound so right here direct sound hit ok and then you will get sound okay now for the review this card is 720p at 60 frames per second. This card is 1080p at 60 frames per second. So that's the main difference between the two cards. Um, this card is $35. This card is $188. Significantly lower. It's a little harder to set this card up but I think it's totally worth it. I really like this card. I mean, for the price, you just can't go wrong. Um, so as far as videos goes, the sky's the limit. You can hook anything into this practically with the HDMI port. Um, I'm going to use it. I like it. I was going to buy this card, but I seen this and I thought, oh, I'll give it a shot. And I'm glad I did because the video capture is quite smooth and clean and I like it a lot, so I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, like and subscribe and help me out. And as always, have a tech day.